In his long career, celebrity journalist Rob McGibbon has interviewed countless famous faces, but nothing has captured his imagination quite like the tragic story of Olive Higgins from Margate. Olive was just 16 when she set off for finishing school in Paris in 1914, recording everything in her diary. Just eight weeks later, she died. But as Charlie Rose reports, her story is now being told on social media with Olive's words read by another 16-year-old from Canterbury. My last year of school life. Recorded by Olive Higgins, The Patch, Cliftonville, Margate. Written in 1914, this is the personal diary of a schoolgirl leaving home for a new life in Paris. Her words brought to life by another 16-year-old, Anna. Friday, 2nd of January. Wake up early. Rather funny feeling. Oh, Paris today. That accounts for it. Much rushing and hurrying by Dad and Pegs. Leave at last amid luggage and Aline's tears. Snow very thick between Margate and Dover. Slip most of the way. There's so much in the way that she speaks and so the, like, the vitality and the warmth in the way that she writes, which sort of really reminds me in many ways of myself, really, and of other people my age. Arrive Calais, two o'clock, feeling peckish. No luck, cannot speak French. But this story of the girl from Margate, whose wealthy father founded Cliftonville's Hydro Hotel, has a tragic ending. Eight weeks after starting her diary, influenza claimed Olive's life. This cutting was from the local newspaper in Margate, and it, it was published a week after Olive died. It was announcing the fact that you know, she had died. And there are two distinct watermarks on there, which I believe came from teardrops. And I believe it was Olive's stepmother, Pegs, who would have cut out the local paper cutting to preserve in the diary. And these are her teardrops. Rob's grandfather lived opposite the cemetery in southeast London where Olive is buried. Growing up, Rob remembers vividly looking out at the gravestones. The diary fell into his hands from an antique dealer 20 years ago during a difficult time in his life. Her story had come to me for a reason. I felt it then, I still feel it today. And I wanted all I can to tell that story because I felt it was given to me for a reason and that is to tell Olive's story. Sort of knowing that someone my own age, living so close to me, almost 100 years ago, it's so special to have that story told. And yeah, something that I think people will be so interested in hearing. Arrive Paris, more bother with luggage. The audio diary will be released in the new year, day by day, via social media. Charlie Rose, BBC Southeast Today, Chelsea.